Which of the following is an important effect of chronic therapy with loop diuretics? Option A. Decreased urinary excretion of calcium. B. Elevation of blood pressure. C. Elevation of pulmonary vascular pressure. D. Metabolic alkalosis. E. Both A and D. Diuretics are medications that act on the kidneys to increase production of urine, therefore elimination of water from the body. There are five main types of diuretics, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, osmotic diuretics, thiazide and thiazide-like diuretics, potassium-sparing diuretics, and last but not least, loop diuretics which we'll discussing in this video. Now, loop diuretics act on the loop of Henle. To be more specific, they mainly target the thick ascending limb. Furosemide is the prototypical loop agent. Furosemide, bumetanide, and torsemide are sulfonamide derivatives. Ethacrinic acid is a phenoxyacetic acid derivative, it is not a sulfonamide but acts by the same mechanism. Loop diuretics inhibit the cotransport of sodium, potassium, and chloride, known as NKCC2, in the luminal membrane in the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. Therefore, reabsorption of these ions is decreased. These agents have the greatest diuretic effect of all the diuretic drugs, since the ascending limb accounts for reabsorption of 25% to 30% of filtered sodium chloride. Loop diuretics increase the excretion of sodium, potassium, and calcium. And also increase urine output. The presentation of large amounts of sodium to the collecting tubule may result in significant potassium wasting and excretion of protons, hypokalemic alkalosis may result. Loop diuretics also reduce pulmonary vascular pressure. Ethacrinic acid is a moderately effective uricosuric drug if blood volume is maintained. The major application of loop diuretics is in the treatment of edematous states, for example, heart failure, ascites, and acute pulmonary edema. They are sometimes used in hypertension if response to thiazides is inadequate. A less common but important application is in the treatment of severe hypercalcemia, because they stimulate tubular calcium excretion. This life-threatening condition can often be managed with large doses of furosemide together with fluid and electrolyte replacement. Loop diuretics usually induce hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis. Because they are so efficacious, loop diuretics can cause hypovolemia and cardiovascular complications. Ototoxicity is an important toxic effect of the loop agents. Ethacrinic acid is the most likely to cause deafness. The sulfonamides in this group may rarely cause typical sulfonamide allergy. It can also cause hyperuricemia and hypomagnesemia. Therefore the answer is option D. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.